Good evening, friends. Welcome to another edition of Positively Godfrey Daniels, live from 4th Street. Well, we began this series, uh, we transitioned to this series last month as we're getting closer to the time when we can reopen the club. And um, we decided to uh, bring you the live streams from right here on our stage. Uh, you may recognize this beautiful quilt behind me. And here I am on, on the stage. So thank you for joining us uh, this evening. And tonight we have a special guest, Heather Pearson, with us from her studio in New England. I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, her music and getting to know her a little better during the chat. So, hi, Heather. Hi, Hello. Sean. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm really looking forward to uh, your hour of music and then catching up a little bit in the middle. Yeah, I am too. Thank you so much for having us. You're very welcome. We're honored. It's an honor. So take it away. Thank you. I will. Have Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to start this evening off with a song that I wrote to get myself through a tough time. And I would say the last uh, 14 months would certainly <laughs> qualify as a tough time. And maybe, maybe this will help you along your way. Two, three, four. Too many things have tried to stand in my way And too many times I've had to push them away And there's too many voices asking me Why do I even try to reach for the golden ring To reach out to strangers and say well, singing ain't just something that I do Singing is a thing that sees me through I'm gonna sing my song out loud and proud I'm gonna raise my voice above the crowd Cause singing
Thank you all so much. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm going to sing you um, a life story in about two and a half minutes. I don't mean two and a half minutes from now. I mean, <laughs> I mean the song is about two and a half minutes long. that I turned 21 I hated nearly everyone except that foamy friend in my hand I could knock them back with the best of them but just like all the rest of them I couldn't see beyond the end of my nose goodness knows how I'm still here the old man had just turned 51 when the cancer's evil work was done and left mom and me with no place to stand from the booze I was set free but she chose not to follow me my love and her fear came to blows goodness knows how I'm still here some call it luck some call it grace I think I'm just more stubborn than most but like mama used to say I come by it honestly I turned 31 My mother finished up her run Her hourglass had run out of sand It had been years since we had spoken Both our weary hearts are broken I'm alone now on the road I chose Goodness knows how I'm still here so much so yeah as Ramona mentioned uh, we are up in New England we're in the town of Conway New Hampshire which is uh, in the Mount Washington Valley it's right on the main New Hampshire border and uh, it's really felt like summer lately although today it's very breezy it almost feels like fall today nice and crisp yeah it's really... yesterday was midsummer today is fall yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's that's New England for you and uh, this is a song I, I wrote when we were far from home a few years ago. We were out on the road, and I was really loving where I was, and I was really missing the whites. So this is a song called Ain't Gotten Around. Two, three, four. share and laughter and all the tears I've cried I'm quite sure that I've seen more than most I'll tell you why I hide myself away in these mountains cause there's a whole world of heart beyond that ridge I'm sure some folks out there are happy and I'm sure
Thank you so much. So this gentleman who is um, playing the bass and uh, cracking wise and being the guitar tech and all those mm -hmm. things. This is Sean Meadow. And uh, yeah, we're going to move into a little uh, bluesy, jazzy sounding kind of thing. How does that sound, everybody? Um, let's do horse again. A little song about resilience. I think something else that we've found in maybe in short supply and maybe not such short supply in the last year or so. Sorry, you had to check a technical thing. Oh, All right. Oh, and sound guy, too. This guy wears a lot of hats. <laughs> <laughs> you wear a lot of hats. This is one of them. <laughs> one, two, three.
The road is bumpy, narrow and long. The ones who built it sang the same damn song. There's no escaping the hand you've been dealt. There ain't a soul among us who hasn't felt what you felt. So would you rather just give up? Up on that horse again. Get up on that horse again. <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much. I think I want to change the, the next song. Is that all right with you? Sure. I do that a lot. I write a set list and prepare a set list, and then I change it at the last minute. I want to sing a song um, that also has a horse in it. <laughs> a horse in the song? It's inside the song. Take a song and you cram a horse in it. <laughs> we'll, we'll do all kinds of crazy things up here in the mountains. Um, this is a song I wrote that I, a lot of times I know who the songs are about when there's a character in the song. But in this case, I have no idea who the song is about. Maybe you know who this song is about. And if you know... Let me know in no, the comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> One, two. Mm -hmm. My father left us on a Monday. On Tuesday, the telephone rang. On Wednesday night, he came back. And all day Thursday, how my say but Friday night was coming and daddy was the prowling kind the whole damn weekend came and went but daddy never paid us no mind he had to get up and go so he got up and
took us to the church in town. Oh, he even put on his suit and tie, and he promised that he'd stick around. But no fear of God Almighty or any warning about a lake of fire was enough to keep Daddy at home, cause he was a liar. He had to get up and go. So he got up and went. like that <laughs> yeah me neither I just felt like writing about one. <laughs> oh well let's see we're gonna do one more song in this first set and um, uh, this is <laughs> I often say that this song is it's just a blues really but it's a blues that I wrote to pay homage to two of my favorite jazz musicians, uh, Dave Brubeck and Dr. John, and all that really means is that I wrote a blues that you can't dance to. <laughs> I mean, if you, it's a compound meter, and if you can figure out the, uh, the, 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 the time. It's broken. <laughs> if you can figure out the time signatures, then we'll give you a, uh, a free kitten? virtual pat on the back. <laughs> A free kitten. A free virtual kitten. A free virtual kitten. Whatever that is. Digital kitten. Yes. The gumbo's too hot and you cooked it too long. The gumbo's too hot and you cooked it too long. I think you've gone and done it, but you done it all wrong. Yeah. 
If wow. If you tell me what the meter is, I'd be grateful because I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us know. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so uh, much. So, yeah, Heather, I've uh, we've crossed paths at uh, folk music conferences, I'll say, and I've listened to some of your recordings over the year, um, but there is nothing like, I, I, I'm gushing here, uh, <laughs> nothing like, you know, live, live performance for uh, the real magic. Very joyful and fun. Um, <laughs> Thank you. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk uh, with Louise about getting your band in here. Now that things are starting to reopen, we'll be kicking off our new season in September. It's been a long year. Sure and, has. Um, so uh, we would like to know what you've been doing. So, yeah, we were, um, when I say we, I mean the acoustic trio. So mm -hmm. Sean and I and our friend Davey Sturdivant, who if folks don't know, he's one of those guys that can play pretty much anything you put in his hands. Um, when he tours with the trio, he's playing dobro and horn and guitar and mandolin. And yeah, he's one of those sidemen extraordinaire, can sing like a bird, great songwriter, just all those things. Davey, if you're watching, I know you didn't pay me to say that. It's, 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 all, uh, <laughs> it's all true. It's all sincere. Anyway, uh, when COVID hit in March of last year, uh, we were halfway through a six-week tour and um, we hmm. never got it, we never got to, uh, to the Texas leg. We were in Florida and we packed up and came home. And so oh pretty much as soon as we got home, Sean and I started streaming every Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. and um, just Great. playing cover songs, playing originals. Um, I wrote a song about toilet paper that kind of was <laughs> famous for like half a minute at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, but other than that, just been doing a lot of streaming and um, doing a lot of writing. And um, it's been kind of nice, actually. Like, I feel a little embarrassed by how well the last year has gone for me. I mean, it's been tough in terms of, you know, a lot less income, but we're not traveling. We haven't been traveling. So right. it's been kind of nice to just sit a little more still and really kind of take in the beauty that surrounds us up here. You know, this is the longest that I think we've been still in one place, you know, in, the, in the 11 years right. that Sean and I have been together and playing wow. music. So well, that's um, wonderful. Creative yeah. So it's been kind of you. a, yeah, yeah. It's been kind of a, kind of a blessing in disguise. Um, and I say that knowing that there's been so much suffering and so much loneliness and so yes, much um, tragedy in the world yeah. and just to appreciate, you know, how, you know, how privileged and how fortunate I am. It's just something I don't take for granted. So. Well, and the people who know you and, and know and love your music are privileged too. And uh, <laughs> I just think it's, you know, it's been super nice that uh, music I've found has sustained countless of us over this year, uh, Absolutely. one way or yeah. another, if it fits recordings, but especially the live streams yeah. uh, have been a bit of a, a lifesaver, I would say. So this is a real treat and we're enjoying it very much. Yeah. Um, so things are opening up. As I said, we start our new season in September here at the club. And what are you off to? So this summer we were doing a little bit of touring, kind of putting our toe in the water, you know, doing some, a few dates down in the Southeast. Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, um, just kind of just keep writing, keep, uh, keep uh, you know, woodshedding and, and just, you know, keep doing all the things that keep you sharp and fresh, all the practices, you know, that I've yes, kind of sunk yes. into in the last in the last year have been really nice. Yeah. Although I am kind of, I mean, I'm two jabs, two weeks out, so I'm, I'm safe to <laughs> go out in the world or I'm feeling confident enough to go out in the world. So I'm actually, uh, Sean and I and my friend Bernice Martin, um, we have a, a project together called Heart Songs and Circle Songs, mm -hmm. a community singing project. We're actually leaving for uh, California tomorrow. Great. And we're going to be uh, participating in a gathering called Song Village, which happens the first weekend in June every year in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And um, we've been invited to come and teach our songs. And it's a great honor. Great. And I've never seen redwoods, so I'm so oh, excited to see those oh, trees. Wow. <laughs> wow, what a bonus. That's fantastic. Song yeah. Village. So we can yeah. we'll yes. look that up and check it out. Great. Yeah. We'll do that. So uh, I see that you specialize in a handful of genres. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that kid that just couldn't decide, you know, what she wanted to do when she grew up. So I'm just doing a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, no. Who needs to be boxed in or pigeonholed? It's, it's all really quite lovely. So that's right. That's Thank right. you. So we'll get back to that in a, in a few minutes. And um, 
We're just going to take a couple of minutes and mention some sponsors and other events. Uh, first, a reminder that uh, about Godfrey Daniels Media Partner, the Lehigh Valley's NPR radio station, WDIY, 88.1 FM. In addition to news and public affairs, WDIY is also home to an eclectic mix of music programs, including classical, folk, jazz, blues, indie rock, world music, and more. Nearly 100 volunteer programmers bring you the news and music all day, every day. And please give your support to WTIY and help them keep it all coming to us over the airwaves and the internet. Be sure to tune in to WTIY each Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. for Live from Godfrey Daniels, featuring select radio cuts from live concerts performed on Godfrey stage. These recordings span the decades from Godfrey's early years right up through early 2020. This program is curated and hosted by our own Dave Fry. Uh, Godfrey Daniels is proud to be a sponsor for some upcoming events, and we hope you're interested in uh, one, two, or th all three of these. Come together with performers from across the Lehigh Valley and beyond to support No Place for Hate, an initiative that helps children combat bias, bullying, and hatred. Tomorrow evening, May 28th at 7 p.m., join us for a rewatch of the April 30th virtual concert. Um, the rewatch, excuse me, the rewatch will also feature new live visits from special guests and drawings for more gifts from our community sponsors. Learn more at GoFundMe.com slash Come Together 2021. We're excited. June is coming, summer, and with it, Pride Month. Godfrey Daniels is sponsoring a special virtual Zoom concert on Friday, June 4th, featuring Trett Fuhrer, Abby Posner, and Kippen Martin. This will be a fantastic evening of singer-songwriting women. Tickets are available at the link on our screen. The link will also be posted to our comments here as well. And there is more information about this event in our weekly newsletter on Tuesdays and on our Facebook page. Uh, June also means the return of the 40th annual, except for last year, Wingap Bluegrass Festival, June 10th through 13th, right here in nearby Wingap, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's a terrific lineup over the four days, including none other than banjo master Eddie Adcock, and our favorite young bluegrassers from right here in the Lehigh Valley, Serene Green. For more information about the many other talented artists, please visit wingapbluegrass.com. To purchase discounted tickets online, please visit godfreydaniels.org. Sign up for our weekly Gazette newsletter where all will be revealed every Tuesday until the festival. Upcoming live streams in our series, Positively Godfrey Daniels, include Cliff Eberhard and Louise Mosry on Sunday, June 6th, Ancha Duvicott on Thursday, June 10th, Grace Pettis on Thursday, June 17th, with more dates being added all the time. Stay tuned to our website at godfreydaniels.org for all the latest information. And now we'll get back to Heather Pearson. All right. Thank you, Ramona. Ah. Thank you so much. Noodling. Uh -oh. <laughs> Keep on. No noodling. That's a finable offense. <laughs> Just kidding. We well, you know, I, that kind of reminds me of uh, what inspired this next song. This is um, in what I call the before times, you know, before COVID. Uh, I, I've, I've actually been kind of longing for those gigs that we used to complain about in the before times, you know, where you're just a band in a corner being ignored and people are cheering for, you know, something that's happening on a screen you know, above your head. And uh, this is a song I wrote inspired by those um, kind of doing some people watching in those situations. One, two, one, two. So many fireflies buzzing around my stool. Nursing my I said talking's nice, you know you really ought to give it a chance He said 
we'd rather drink and dance. Drink and dance. He's gonna have another drink and try to find a little romance. Drink and dance. Drink and dance. Well, some would say that he's thrown his life away cause all he does is drink and dance. She shot me a look that was brighter than a shooting star. She laughed at me and said, Hey, what's your deal? You look like a kid who lost her happy meal. I said, Thinking's nice, you know, you really ought to give it a chance. She said she'd rather drink and dance. Drink and dance. drink and dance every Friday night at the same old bar by the same stop of light. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe I should loosen up and have a little fun tonight. Yeah, what do you say? Maybe people out there are drinking and dancing in the privacy of their own homes. Who knows? It's Thursday night. You can do that. It's close enough to the holiday weekend, right? <laughs> I like to think in pranks, personally. <laughs> or wink and go to France. There you go. Perhaps. Yeah. I like that idea. Wink and trance. I wish you could wink and then just immediately be in France. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. So this is um, this is a fairly new song, although if you're hearing us for the first time, these are all new songs, right? This is uh, so yeah. In the last year, I haven't really gone anywhere further than you know the grocery store and the post office. But last summer, last August, we went on a camping trip way up in the town of Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. If you don't know where Pittsburgh is, it's way the hell up there, right on the Canadian border. 
and it was a nice big campground the space the campsites were really far apart from one another it was a perfect like pandemic campground and um, I don't go anywhere without an instrument I went up there with a guitar and um, came home with this song and uh, I guess I could mention that there is a I haven't recorded this song yet although I really would like to there is a version of it on my patreon page if you go to patreon.com slash Heather Pearson Every Thursday, I post something new there. Um, and last week's post was uh, the Acoustic Trio's version of this song with Davey. The rough version. Yeah, but it's... Davey, Davey's still learning it, so it wasn't... Uh, have yeah. To, disclaimer. We gotta, yeah, we got to couch it, but... He da- Davey's still learning it, so it was, it's not the, not the final It's a rough version. But he plays a really sweet dobro part, so... And the three-part harmonies, and... So, yeah, if you're interested, you can check out the Patreon... I really like this weather, but I don't think my tailor likes it too much. Well, you haven't played it in a long time either. I haven't been playing it much, no. So it's, uh, that's what happens. It's like when you don't drive a car for a long time, it's like... And it gets a little rusty. Besides, it won't start and all that stuff. Let's do that intro together. (laughs) Two, three, four... I'm still learning that song too. <laughs> usually it's me who messes up. So oh, thank the, you, Dave. Usually I'm the one that messes up <laughs> <laughs> on these new songs. But to your, to your, uh, you know, your, your, you have an excuse is that you're playing a guitar you haven't played in a while. It's true. It's true. I'm only going to play one more song on this guitar. 
tonight, and it's a song that I wrote many years ago to remind myself of the fact that I am lucky that I get to complain about anything at all. Anything. <laughs> anything. We've kind of renamed this the frog song. Two, three, four. such a pest I just shoveled off the front porch I'll let the sunlight do the rest and underneath the snow seeds way to grow how do they know it's anyone's guess the rains in April become the flowers in the spring the world wakes up and every creature with a voice starts to sing I try not to complain every time it starts to rain and instead remember all the goodness that it brings because it's a little miracle to be alive to feel that spark of passion along your spine so whether it's evolved this way or been some grand design I'm gonna take this life and make it mine springtime rains can be so cold so I try not to hit those frogs as they jump out in the road I pray that they might find a safer place and kind around the next turn if I may be so bold to say is it a miracle to be alive to feel that spark of along your spine So whether it's evolved this way or been some grand design I'm gonna take this life and make it mine What you got there, Mr. Frog? Summer's long hot days will give way to fall And slowly paint a picture on the forest so tall In a slumber so deep, Mother Earth goes back to sleep Isn't it amazing that she wakes up at all? Oh, isn't it a miracle to be alive? To feel that spark of passion along your so whether it's evolved this way or been so grand as I, I'm gonna take this life and make it mine. So whether it's evolved this way or been so grand as I, I'm gonna take this life and make it mine. <laughs> it's about time for the peepers to start doing their thing anyway yeah like uh we can't do a peeper <laughs> that's more like a mingus peeper <laughs> hey uh would you like to take a break for a song no <laughs> well too bad you're getting a break for a song <laughs> Yeah, I'll give Sean a little rest and um, I'll play for you a song that I wrote about my childhood piano. It's about my mom and dad. I want to dedicate it to everybody who has ever taken piano lessons or maybe you've started taking piano lessons again or maybe for, for the first time during COVID. And in particular, if you've ever learned or are learning piano from the John Thompson Teaching Little Fingers to Play, those bright red covers that's what I learned from as well so you might recognize some of the musical storytelling in this song
old front room that overlooked the yard along the back wall standing like a guard was the big brown box that helped me make sense of the world he found it at the dump and brought it home to me and that was all it took to set my young mind free and the big brown box helped me make sense of the world he taught me lines and spaces she taught me how to read faces The house was always so cold and the ashtray always full and every word she said scratched at me like wool and the big brown box helped me make sense of the world I was always unsure of how I ought to be and somehow it seemed that that wasn't up to me and the big brown box showed me how to be in the world he taught me lines and spaces she taught me how to read faces I'd sit down, I'd close my eyes and play. What a beautiful pain to wish everything else away. Except the big brown box helped me make sense of the world. And now that they've all gone, the old piano too. I hope I've got what it takes to follow what is true. Brown box showed me how to be in the world. He taught me lines and spaces. She taught me how to read faces. He taught me lines and spaces. She taught me how to read faces. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Sean. You want to come over and play a couple more songs with me? <laughs> this next song is uh, um, one that I wrote many years ago when I was still living in Maine. I grew up in Maine, and um, those of you who live anywhere near the Northeast or in the Northeast know that the winters can be bitterly cold, bitterly cold, like freeze your nose hairs cold. And I was, um, years ago, standing in my driveway. I got home late from a gig, actually, and um, standing in the driveway and just looking up at the crystal clear sky, just billions of stars, and just started thinking about the fact that some of the stars that we see in the night sky very likely do not exist any longer. And I just find that thinking, contemplating things like that is um, one of my favorite things about being alive. <laughs> um, and it brought to mind something that one of my favorite people, Carl Sagan, once said. He said that we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. 
which is a pretty amazing thing to contemplate as well. So I kind of focused on one star, not for any particular reason. There was just one star that maybe looked a little more twinkly than another, and I wrote a song about it. It's called Starlight. Cheers. <laughs> A single star thrown out into space, offering up what the light you have over millions of miles for millions of. Your light still shines on your behalf, sparkling like water in a stream, a beam of light so delicate and so long. I can only hold. To be like you and keep on shining long after I'm gone. I'm amazed you were here and still I can see you so clearly. Your light is so bright that it burns right through. single souls thrown out into space offering up our little light while we can our time is so brief in a little while we'll all be gone so let your shine out for every woman, child, and man. And the fact that you're here and that I can see you so clearly, it's nothing short of a miracle. It's something so rare and beautiful. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we were going to do one more song for you all. Uh, thanks so much to Ramona and Mike and everybody at Godfrey Daniels for hosting us and all of you for, for opening your ears and your hearts to us. We so appreciate it. So we're going to leave you with, um, I guess you could say this is my version of church.
I'm saying yes, yes, yes to love. I'm not turning my back on anything. I am opening my arms to the world. So whenever I say no to hatred, I'm saying yes, yes, yes to Thanks so much. I've been, so, I've, I forgot about our little companion here. <laughs> it was a gift from one of our Patreon supporters. <laughs> that's very handy. Thank you, Gwen Ellen. <laughs> yeah, so, that's right. Just thank you for sharing all your songs with us. Um, I like to say that my second favorite part of any concert uh, here at the club is seeing everybody walk out, uh, walking on air and very happy <laughs> and uh, I think it's safe to say that we've all been lifted by your music this evening so thank you and um, yeah we're going to take it off into the weekend and uh, wish you and Sean and Bernice safe travels thank out you to so the much. west coast I know that's going to be a great time for you so yeah. and the next time we see you I think we'll be right here at Godfrey Daniels we can't I wait can't, can't wait thank you so much thank you very much all right, everybody. So um, thanks again for joining us. Uh, we hope you 
enjoyed yourselves. I'd like to remind you uh, that we bring you these series, this series in support of the artists. And uh, in this instance, we hope you'll visit heatherpearson.com. I know that Heather's got some, uh, some of her music available online. Pick up a CD or two, just as you would do if we were here at the club with her and uh, watch for her to uh, be um, part of our programming in our new season, which does begin in September. There'll be more information about that as the weeks go on. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Thanks again.